Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon where I am. I hope it's equally beautiful wherever you are. And uh, I have the Tarot of Curious Creatures on the tarot table for this reading. And uh, this reading is about access control, allegedly access to Prince Harry that according to Neil Sean has to go through Doria. So our theme of today is really about access, access to certain people in the royal family, in-laws, really. And uh, so the first reading is about Harry and his mother-in-law, Doria. We heard a while back that Doria had moved in permanently into Mudslide Mansion in Montecito to help the Parkles through a tough time. That was the story tough time because of all the flops and fails and humiliations and all of that struggling the two of them so Doria moved in and Harry is very happy with that views her as a, as the uh, a mother figure um, and then we hear from Neil Sean that it's a little bit more than that that Doria actually is the one the sort of gatekeeper if you want to get hold of has been you have to go through Doria even if you are the king of England King Charles his father you have to go through Doria and it's more than that she also seems to uh, control the children and their day-to-day -day lives because Megan is too busy with her career to be bothered I'm paraphrasing and bringing a little bit of snark to the situation obviously we want to know what's going on we want to know what the relationship really is like between Harry and his mother-in-law what's going on is it all just sweet and innocent or is there something maybe a little bit sinister about this uh, some people speculate that Doria might be around as a witness really uh, in case there is some poor behavior say around the children or around Megan and say the relationship fails and uh, then uh, Doria it would be Doria's word against Harry's really and that might be awkward um, so we want to have a little look at that we want to know how the royals feel about this situation Harry apparently is quite okay with it and totally relies on her I find that strange for a 40 year old man to have handed control of his life over to his mother-in-law who is a rather mysterious figure some people would say a rather shady figure because there's 10 years of Doria's life that we know absolutely nothing about there's a lot of speculation around that but no hard facts so we'll leave the speculation out of this reading for now and remind you that this is just tarot for fun and entertainment it is all speculation it is all my opinion and i just read energy and there is of course a disclaimer in the box below but we're going to have a, a a dig around and uh, see what the cards want to tell us and uh, if there is something interesting that we might be able to uncover ten of pentacles is our underlying energy and it is in the reverse and yes i have a scratch on my arm which you can see unfortunately fluffy we were playing with her favorite piece of string and she got a bit carried away the other day so that's what's going on with me um Ten of Pentacles in reverse, our underlying energy. The Ten of Pentacles is, of course, the royal family card. Not the royal family card, but one of them. Um, it's interesting. It's islands, tropical islands, and they have just been on holiday. Well, twice, actually. They were in that um, island. I've forgotten what it's called now. Uh, recently um, infamous rather for clearing uh, the beaches and the, the land around uh, for uh, rather exotic foreign people rather than locals shall we put it like that and then they were in Costa Rica just before Christmas or over Christmas no kids in sight in either oh no there were kids in sight at Costa Rica blurry sort of pictures of kids uh, living the good life but Ten of Pentacles is about longevity. It's about in the enduring ness, uh, uh, is that a word, of a relationship uh, that you're there for, for forever and ever and ever down through the lines, um, down through time. And it's also royal family because that's what royal family really represents. It's that long view handing down through the generations, but it's in reverse, uh, kicked out of the royal family and something that might not endure if you're looking at this happy couple who have been twice to um, 
rather exotic holiday destinations to shore up the marriage and convince everybody that everything is great in their relationship. Not really when you get the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And also, just by the way, Ten of Pentacles is about financial security as well as all of that succession and inheritance and um, handing down through the generations. It is, when it's in reverse, a card that signifies debt, big debt. We just put that out there and see what shows up the rest of the time. So, situation, what are we dealing with? That's the underlying energy we've looked at. We've got the fool in reverse. It's full too because in this particular tarot deck you go round um, the major arcana and then you get back to the full. You start off again but from a level of uh, higher awareness and experience according to the person who designed this tarot deck. So it's interesting that a full too has shown up that Harry has already been once around the major arcana in this situation and he hasn't learned his lesson because the card is in reverse. He is just as big a fool this time around as he was the previous time around. Very interesting. The fool is literally when it's in reverse, a fool. Someone who's behaving in a foolish and reckless manner who hasn't learned their lessons, hasn't done the research, prepared themselves in a sensible and adult way for what is going on. Somebody who is quite juvenile, naive, um, gullible even, let's put that word out there as well, cut off from that Ten of Pentacles, from the security and safety of that Ten of Pentacles and exposed to the slings and arrows of whoever might be uh, gatekeeping for him, or my opinion of course. Harry in the first column, what's his relationship with Doria like? This is more of an objective question, a signifier for the relationship, what's it like? Six of Wands, it's great, there she is. Uh, well, uh, uh, it's more kind of what Megan looks like to me. But anyway, it could be Doria. But it's the card of success. Uh, it's quite a showy, offy kind of an energy. So he, uh, he is happy with it. Definitely, uh, the stories that I have quoted from are accurate in terms of energy. He is confident, he is optimistic about this relationship, very happy with it, thinks it's a bold and brave move to be um, engaged at this level with his mother-in-law, no problem. It's also a card of triumph and kind of showing off. The Six of Wands, it's normally a triumphal procession, the, he the hero returning home to a rapturous crowd and a garland, um, a wreath, you know, laurel wreath kind of a thing. So from her point of view, this is wonderful. This is in, you know, living the high life. And I've seen that in readings about her that I've done before. Uh, this is all good. This is, I can strut around, I can be with other celebrities, I can, um, I've got status, I have uh, things to boast about and brag about because my daughter is a duchess married to a prince who is sixth in line to the throne. Uh, so it's mutually beneficial, six of wands. How does Harry view her? Is, does he trust her? Is it, does he really view her as a mother figure? How does he see Doria? We have the Page of Cups in reverse. Very interesting card because pages are um, a junior, childish kind of energy, especially when they're in reverse, very immature energy. Page of Cups is um, emotionally needy when it's in the reverse. Um, unstable emotionally. Cups also have to do with substances and Doria has got a rather colourful past, let's just put it like that, with to do with substances and uh, possibly to do with that absence from Megan's life. Um, uh, there are a lot of stories about her, a lot of rumours about her. Um, Samantha Markle in her book wrote about Doria's um, substance use uh, while uh, there were children, uh, teenagers in the house, Samantha included, and around Megan as a baby. 
So um, a lot of people speculate that Doria facilitates some of Harry's own substance use and issues perhaps uh, maybe encouraged or tolerated more than would normally be the case. That's all there in that page of cups in reverse because cups, as I say, are substances. It's in reverse, it's excess, it's out of control. And it is that kind of... Uh, puerile immature energy so here's somebody looking for guidance for um somebody to anchor emotionally onto and that would be doria so it's true whatever whatever we are hearing in these uh, gossipy kinds of stories according to the energy of these cards there is some substance to those rumors so how does doria view harry her opinion of him right now we have the devil in reverse. Ooh, that's interesting because the devil is all about substance abuse, among other things. It's obsessive, it's addictive, it's somebody who's toxic, somebody who is in a toxic relationship. And when it's in reverse, somebody who's trying to escape from that toxic relationship or from that addiction, that obsession that very negative situation the devil is all things negative and toxic can be anger so she could see him as an addict she could see him as very angry she could see him as dishonest weak cowardly vicious all of those things she could see his relationship with megan as very toxic based perhaps on addictive behaviors but because it's in the reverse, it's either really extreme, so she really sees him as a very serious addict, a very seriously angry or damaged person. This is me reading cards, reading energy, speculating, of course. Or she could see him as someone who is trying to get himself out of a situation that is very toxic and very damaging codependent kind of relationship normally old scratch hair as i like to call the devil has got a couple chained together but there is that couple both in that gilded cage how very interesting that the two little figures that the devil controls through addictive behavior and substances and negative um, emotions and stuff like that they are in those gilded cages and how interesting that the man the male figure in this devil card is the one who's turning his back on the woman and trying to sneak away but can't because he's in that gilded cage such a fascinating depiction of the devil in this particular tarot deck the one that i decided to use for this reading always get a little prompt from universe use this one use that one and uh, now we know why um what are her intentions towards harry are they entirely honorable is she concerned for him hoping for the best for him or is there something a little darker uh coloring this relationship the six of wands relationship a little bit more sinister perhaps as i have speculated or other people we have the nine of wands in reverse nine of wands in reverse is somebody who uh is should have their guard up but doesn't they've let their guard down and that's a very chilling thought if you're somebody who's maybe an addict maybe got mental health problems uh, maybe has got anger issues um, and you have your guard down that's not good that's not good especially sitting under the devil that's not good at all so he is very exposed in that situation. Um, he doesn't have any boundaries around him when it comes to Doria. She knows everything there is to know about him. That's my speculation due to that card and what, uh, uh, what that card signifies typically in tarot. Let's just make that clear. Uh, that's my opinion and you of course are welcome to reach other opinions. But that is my opinion reading the cards that's not good he really has no defenses against her he's got no no boundaries um she knows everything and particularly to do with how damaged he is because the nine of wands is the wounded healer it's a damaged person a person who really is struggling against all the negativity and when the card is in the reverse it's somebody who has really basically just collapsed under the weight of all the attacks and the negativity 
So that doesn't bode well for Harry. Um, it's not a rescue kind of an energy. It's more I see how um, how weak you are. I could pounce at any second if I wanted to. That's my opinion. Royal family. How do they view this situation that uh, Neil Sean has talked about and that I am reading on now? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's a very unfortunate situation. Wheel of Fortune upright. It's great. It's good fortune. It's happy. It's positive. It's optimistic. It's This was a stroke of good luck. In reverse, this is bad luck. This is something that has come out of nowhere because the Wheel of Fortune is unpredictable energy. You have no idea when fate is going to roll something like this at you. And it's negative because it's in reverse. They view this as a very negative situation, a very unlucky situation. Um, uh, uh, fated and karmic in a way because the Wheel of Fortune is about that. The Wheel of Fate rolling. And sometimes you're up and sometimes you're down. And Harry is really down on his luck right now but doesn't seem to see it with that Six of Wands and with that kind of dependent, emotional dependency energy in the Page of Cups in reverse. He does not see what is going on. Devil in reverse, Nine of Wands in reverse. They see it. But it's not a situation when you've got the, the Wheel of Fortune turned against you. It's very hard to get out of that energy. To turn the wheel around again so that you can get back up to the top. So Harry was once up at the top. He was the most popular royal. His life, he led, led that uh, charmed life really. He could manage to sleep through the attack at Camp Bastion where two US Marines were killed trying to protect him allegedly. Uh, but now, not so great, is it? How does Dory view them? What's the feeling back from Montecito about the royal family? Her, her attitude to them, what does she think of them? Six of Swords. Well, uh, we left. Uh, that was a mess. Uh, over there, across the ocean, the Six of Swords is an international travel card. We left all that nastiness uh, and moved on. And uh, she, of course, seems to have been the one that has sowed the seeds in the Parkles ears about all the racism that the royals allegedly exhibited towards them, the unconscious bias and all of that. A lot of fingers point towards Doria as being the culprit in all of this. Um, and so you can see that with the Six of Swords. It was, a, it was a nasty situation. It was unpleasant. It was toxic. And so we left. And we moved back to California, lovely California, and um, won't look back, basically. How about the children? What's going on with the children? Her relationship with the children, just generally, what do we know about that? According to the Tarot Ace of Pentacles, work. Work to make money. She could be paid. This is speculation, wild speculation, but it's paid employment, the Ace of Pentacles. She could be paid to care for them. Uh, there was speculation that she was on the royal payroll uh, back when the Parkles were working royals in the UK. There was a lot of speculation that uh, Doria got some kind of stipend from the royal family and uh, managed to build up quite a slush fund is the word that comes to my mind. Um, offshore some people speculate she did manage apparently to do quite well out of the situation. That is the rumour. I don't have any facts to back it up. I'm simply repeating what people have said, speculated about. And here I have a card that kind of backs that up because it's the Eight of Pentacles. It's, she works hard. This isn't grandmother. This is somebody who is involved in day-to-day -day care for reward, for financial reward. And, you know, I suppose nothing wrong if she is functioning as their nanny and uh, she needs to earn her, her, her keep, basically. But it does seem to be some kind of uh, financial arrangement and quite lucrative because the Eight of Pentacles is healthy amount of money. It's big money. It's not to be sneezed at. Um, so that was really how her relationship with the children and uh, is showing up as a money card, as a work card. Working hard, not lolling around. So it, I'm not accusing her of being idle and being paid for doing nothing. This is working really hard. Um, and she allegedly was sent off to learn how to be a good 
um, grandmother and all of that stuff when Megan was allegedly pregnant. Um, so, uh, so it's answered my next question, but I will ask the next question anyway. How involved is she in their day-to-day -day care? I'm already speculating that she's very involved, but how involved is she? We have the Four of Swords in reverse. Wow. Uh, Four of Swords, when it's upright, is a card of retiring. And she is at retirement age. Of self-care, of um, retreating from the public eye to look after yourself and meditate and heal and recover from a difficult period. We've had the Six of Swords here. So she has experienced a situation. She viewed her interaction with the royals as negative. However well they felt that they were treating her, she viewed it as negative. And I suppose in uh, my speculation, if you have a certain agenda or a certain chip on your shoulder or a certain expectation, you can find reasons to feel hard done by without looking too hard. So that's my feeling about the Six of Swords. But let's come back to the Four of Swords in reverse. It's in reverse. So it's the opposite of what I have just said. So she is exhausted by this situation that she finds herself in she finds this situation extremely difficult um, she feels at some level that this is a situation she's on some kind of hamster wheel with this four of swords that she can't get off she would like to rest she would like to stop she'd like to go away she'd like to slink away out of the public eye but she can't Four of Swords in reverse. Can't heal, can't retire, can't rest. And more than that, such an interesting card. More than that, the card signifies ruined reputation. She feels somehow that her involvement in the situation with the children could lead somehow to her own personal ruin in terms of her character. And as I say, she has got a past that is questionable. There's a lot of speculation around. If people go digging, she does stand to uh, risk a lot or lose a lot with that card. Never mind what's going on with the children and all that weirdness and all that gossip and speculation and rumor and all of that stuff. So that's all very interesting. What, hypothetically speaking, would happen if Harry and Meghan were to separate, divorce in a very acrimonious way, what would happen to Harry and his mother-in-law? How would that go? And it would go very badly. Strength card in reverse, that's the Meghan card. Um, there they are, mother and daughter. Uh, well, you can pick who you want to uh, be which, but there they are, the pair of them. Strength is Leo, of course, so that's why I say it's a Megan card. But strength is the Harry and Megan card because normally there is a woman uh, wrestling or taming a lion. So that's the Leo and the Virgo, Harry and Megan. Um, it's kind of codependent energy that I've picked up in that card when I read on Harry and Megan. This is downfall kind of energy because it's weakness it's it, it's um exposing all of the flaws in that relationship all of the stuff that was papered over to make them look perfect and strong as a couple and healthy when the card is in reverse you're looking at something that is not healthy at all that is damaged that is weak broken cowardly vulnerable and uh, oh my is all I can say with that kind of energy because he really could live to regret being so exposed around her and so open and trusting and well you see me in my underpants uh, with a bottle of whatever in my hand uh, two in the afternoon I've just crawled off the carpet um, from a bender and here I am and uh, oh is that your camera on your cell phone that's uh, filming me very 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 dangerous situation that he um, 
could get into. Uh, something that I uh, missed but have to say about the strength card is that one of its great meanings is about self-mastery. That woman who's taming the lion is taming her baser nature, her animal instincts. She's, she's mastering herself and it's in reverse. So what is going to come out is how out of control he is. This is my speculation, my interpretation of the cards. Again, disclaimer in the box below. But that is what the potential is because I said this is a hypothetical question. We have no idea how their relationship is going to go. We can speculate. Uh, but if it goes badly, what will come out is how out of control he was. And that is not going to bode well in terms of custody, in terms of his future reputation and all of that. There it is. That's the reading. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.